very happy and cheerful morning to all my dear students i hope you all are fine at home and taking care of your health so we're back with our social studies class now your vacations are over so let's get back to studies right now before starting the new chapter let me show you something yeah so what is this all over here there's snow and ice you can see it's looking beautiful isn't it so that's a hint i have given for you that is the new chapter that we are going to start is chapter number 9 the land of snow and ice so we're going to study about the land of snow and ice so as you know children where do we see in which zone do we see snow and ice in frigid zone right so we are going to study about it in detail this is your chapter chapter number 9 the land of snow and ice so take out your textbook everyone page number 54 let's start reading okay The land of snow and ice also known as the frigid zone we have studied about the zones already that is the torrid zone temperate zone and frigid zone so we know that snow and ice we have found in frigid zone okay it is permanently covered with ice and is frozen throughout the year There are two frigid zones. How many frigid zones are there? Two frigid zones. One in each hemisphere. The north frigid zone, please underline. It lies between the Arctic Circle and the North Pole. Now I'll show you a picture. See. Okay, is the picture clear? So over here what do you see? This is the North Pole, right? So this area is the North Frigid Zone. Over here is the South Pole, and this is the South Frigid Zone. So what they have said? See once again, I'm going to show you. North Frigid Zone lies between Arctic Circle and North Pole. Arctic Circle and North Pole. Clear? This is the Arctic Circle, and this is the North Pole area. This whole, okay, and this whole area is known as what? North Frigid Zone. Clear? And then, talking about the South Frigid Zone, lies between the Antarctic Circle and the South Pole. See over here, Antarctic Circle. Can you see? This is the Antarctic Circle, and over here is the South Pole. So in between this, here it is the South Frigid Zone. Clear? North Frigid Zone and South Frigid Zone. Now moving on, the northern and the southern limits of the frigid zones are the North Pole and the South Pole. This we all know, right? that is the end point of it it is known as the north pole and the end point at the south it is the south pole now moving on what do you see look at the map below and see the countries that lie in the north frigid zone so over here what do you see these are the countries that lie in the north frigid zone okay see all these right Over here you see there is Greenland that is in Denmark here is Iceland okay see all this arctic russia is over here all this is the area of the arctic region this is the area of the arctic region now this you have to solve on your own the land of snow and ice is also known as dash over here are the options and you know the answer now we are going to discuss about greenland the island 
of Greenland lies near the North Pole. As you can see over here, we have already pointed this is the Greenland. Its northernmost point is just 650 kilometer from the North Pole. Just 650 kilometer. That means it is very close to the North Pole area. It is the world's largest island. Please underline it. Which is the world's largest island? That is Greenland. Okay. Most of the time it is buried under a thick sheet of ice. Naturally, it is very, very near to the North Pole area. So most of the time it is covered with snow and ice. Due to this, the settlement is restricted to the coastal area. Now imagine how cold it must be. So it's not easy for the human beings to survive. That is why what they have said, the settlement is restricted to the coastal areas. That is generally people only settle in the coastal sites. There are very few large towns in Greenland. Okay, very few large towns are there in Greenland. In Newts, the people of Greenland call the island Kalalit Nunat. Please underline this. What is the meaning of Kalalit Nunat? Which means land of the people. It means the land of the people. Now which is the capital of Greenland? The capital of Greenland is Nuuk. It also has another name that is Gotha, which is also the largest town of the island. So which is the largest town of the island? Nuuk. And it is also the capital of Greenland. Is it clear children? Okay. So let's keep it till here in this video. And in the next video, we will continue with the remaining part. So till that, God bless you all. Goodbye.